I am live, it says. Yay, I am live. Um, I was, well, we're painting Sea Star today. I did a meditation, and that is what was presented to me. So I looked it up, and the description is right below um, the video. So you will be able to see it. And so just come follow me. Follow along if you want. This is the very basic rustic method of sharing here. Oh, I didn't get my brushes yet. Pardon. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, so what I am gonna do is, here we are, beautiful. There, just like that. Yeah, that works. And I will paint the sea star. I'm getting into the energy of uh, trying to find my brush. I'm getting into the energy of okay, I'll just take a brush. It's not the right one. Okay, of guidance. Of inspiration. And remember, of brilliance. of intuition and divine love. And as you paint, just really get into the feeling I feel the regeneration like the sea star when a, one of its legs is bitten off by some creature, it regrows. So it symbolizes regeneration. And just get into the uh, feeling of regeneration. We all need to regenerate. We all need to give ourselves the grace and time and love to regenerate. Renewal. Sometimes we just need more renewal. Things get kind of stagnant and old and we need to renew. Oops. And, another word for sea star is regeneration. And I guess that is kind of the renewal, right? Okay, so now I'm just painting the water around it. I'm being careful not to get into the wet paint right there. Trying very hard. Self-sustainability is another one of Sea Star's um, superpowers. Yes, I like that word, superpower. Because we all have superpowers within ourselves. And these are things that we do need to recognize if we can find them. And oftentimes they're very obvious. 
They're right in our face. They're the things that are natural for us to do. They're natural for us the way we are. So now I'm just painting the water. As you can tell, you don't need any, you don't need any painting experience to do this. Absolutely not. Oops, there's a knob. I don't want the knob. I don't want it on my frog either. And you know, it's a lesson to as we paint this um, sea star. Remember that. to achieve your goals, your desires. You need to start listening to your inner voice. Follow that inner voice. If you don't know what that is, it's a little voice and it's always for the good of all. It's never the one that is harmful to anyone or anything. So you just follow that inner voice and that will get you to reaching your goals and desires. And here you can see the power of, uh, of this painting meditation, right? This painting practice, because as you paint, you spent this much time in oops I did it again in thinking and feeling using all your senses in um um in this idea in this um subject here or the symbol of the sea, you know, sea star of whatever symbol you choose. You spend that much time there. And, you know, and all things are balanced if you find the center. And you know where the, you find that center? It is within yourself. It's not out there. It's within yourself. And sometimes... To find the center, you need to create some movement. So I am highly encouraging you to turn on music, dance, just move. You know, nobody has to be around. And if the house is full, if you have the courage, do it anyway. <laughs> But yeah, or give yourself this time. Give yourself this time to create balance. And um, yeah, you know, just like the scale, you know, you have to find your center to find the balance. Okay, so here is my C star. I want more. I'm going to meditate on it just a wee bit more. Can you even see me? I don't know. Can you see me? Yeah. So what I want to do is, usually I start my paintings with the outline of my subject. Now... This time I didn't do that, but you know what? All this is fine. And here I'm just experiencing the flow, what it feels like in my imagination, the flow in this water be the sea star. See, for a manifestation, you become emotionally in your mind, in your imagination, what you want to become. You become it first in your imagination. I want a little yellow in it. I just see, 
we get to play. This is our play time. So I'm just going to add a little bit, a wee bit of yellow. Uh, it doesn't want to come out. Because the sea star has a bunch of little dots on it, right? And all this texture is on the sea star, the starfish. I like to call it sea star because it sounds more beautiful to me. Oh. So, and as you can tell, you can use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you like. You can use your feet. <laughs> I've never done that, except by accident, stepping in paint. But it all goes. Okay, so I'm going to move this up. And here is Sea Star. And it is just totally fascinating the magic in painting, in this painting practice, this painting meditation. So go get yourself some paint, replay this video and paint yourself a sea star. That's all for now. And I will see you soon. Bye.